guards all over the league, and it really creates a situation where being able to choose guards for the All-Star game is just uh, virtually impossible to not leave somebody off that's deserved. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's out there with Al Horford. Chris Middleton is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Terry in at the point. Now here's Horford. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Six to shoot. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. The shot by Terry, no good. And it's Houston's ball, and stolen by Antetokounmpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Antetokounmpo touched it last. So it's the Rockets now. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Pass to Bamba. And a nice finish on the layup. Bamba showing you a sense for when to cut. Really well done. He's got agility and excellent size in the pick and roll. On to Kumpo with it. Now Lopez. Here's Terry. Coming off a terrific game against Cleveland. He buries it from three. Al Horford impeding the defense there with the solid screen. Pass to Paul. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Paul not allowing the defense to dictate his shot selection. Excellent concentration from the vet. Now out of the Kumpo. Covered by Bamba. The fader. He's now one for two with that bucket. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Here's McGrady. Coming off a 31-point game. It's Middleton on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. Middleton finds Horford. Middleton against Paul. Back to Middleton. Shot clock at six. Lopez, the screen. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Pass to McGrady. Outside Paul. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Bucks. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Oh, man, they were in total control, really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Now here's Ana Kumpo. 20 points for him last game against Cleveland. Relentless on the glass. Boards are largely about how much you want it. And you know, when Giannis takes a shot, the defense wins if it's a shot outside of the paint. They want him taking jump. Malone, and another miss by Houston. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Here's an eight-footer. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Chris Paul. You know, no opponent is just willing to give out to the an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him, and he's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that. off you know Clark with Giannis it's impossible to keep him out of the paint well once he gets in there it's too late I mean fortunately he knows that's his strength and he butters his bread in there still sometimes he'll bail out a team with that jump shot
That one's no good. During this 2019 and 2020 MVP seasons, Giannis Antetokounmpo led the Bucks to back-to-back -back one seeds in the East. The Greek Freaks defense helping Milwaukee to number one defensive rating each of those years too. Pass to Lopez. Here's Terry. Horford, right side. And that's going to be a travel. Seventh in points off turnovers. Eighth in scoring. And they're one of the better rebounding teams in the league. Top ten in the NBA on the boards. Their bigs have used their length to seal the glass. And you mentioned all those points off turnovers they produced. The defensive effort we've seen from them has been pretty impressive. And those points are proof that the effort is paying off. Pass to Malone. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Horford. The Bucks have gone two of six from the floor. Here's Middleton. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Houston has gone only one of four from three-point land. Here's McGrady. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Terry. Middleton outside. Pass to Horford. Middleton outside. Lopez, the screen. And that one's good. Middleton. I think Middleton is absolutely dynamic and when he's involved in the pick and roll. He's really skilled at his decision making. He knows when to pass and when to shoot. Now here's Paul. 17 points in his last outing. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. Lopez. That's his first foul. His first he didn't have foul. his feet planted. Yeah, and and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Here's Tucker. He had nine points in his last time out. And that one's good. Oh. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. It's Middleton on the wing. Pass to Terry. Now here's Lopez. Horford outside. On an Acumpo for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. And, you know, with Giannis on the floor, the B.A., he's able to completely Giannis blow a team Kupo. out on his own. I mean, Taking he can take over a game shots. with big-time performances. We've seen it. Free throw, no good. You know, with Giannis, as you said, Clark, the numbers he can put up are eye-popping. Yeah, he can hit you for 40 points and 20 rebounds on any given night, not to mention how well he's grown as a passer. I mean, his assist totals and block shots typically are otherworldly as well. Second free throw, no good. And Grant, how often do players check in on their own stats during a season? B.A., everybody in the league watches their numbers. Some guys are just willing to admit it. Another miss, and he's really struggling at the line. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Screen by Bombo. There's the three. The shot no good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Here's Terry. He's averaging more than 12 a game. Consistent threat on offense. Really hard to get to the shot of Lopez, especially with his reach. He's certainly personally foul. Thirteen foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez. Two shots.
free throw drops for Lopez. And Brooke Lopez a little bigger and more of an offensive player than his brother Robin. But they've both turned into quality big men in this league. And Lopez drops them both. Houston has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Wood, a screen on Holiday. Pass to Malone. Uses the glass on the layup. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Here's Lopez. And here's Portis. Holiday finds Portis. Now Holiday. Portis the screen. Five on the clock. And the basket Drew by Holiday. Holiday. You know, Drew Holiday has That's so many team. great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even keeled. He competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. Pass to Miller. Here's Connaughton. Portis, left side. Holiday with the ball. Lopez with it. In his last outing with 12 points. Over Wood. Lopez can't hit. Holiday against Paul. They set the pick. That's tipped. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Portis outside. Pass to Miller. Driving to the basket. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. The Rockets trail. Outside Paul. Wood, a screen on Holiday. Paul for three. It's hauled in by Portis. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Lopez. He's guarded by Paul. Paul with the double. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. Honor Kumpo is checked in for the box. Portis with a screen on Paul. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And it's off from three-point range. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Now here's Paul. His offense has been fantastic, averaging just over 17 a game. That was a savvy move by the veteran Paul, ensuring he gets fouled while taking that shot. At the line for your Rockets, Chris Paul taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. You look at career stat leaders, and you know, Paul is right near the top of the list in several areas. Assists, steals. He's up there in most of the categories that define the true essence of a point guard. Tice is checked in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for Martin. Paul hits them both. The Bucks have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. Pass to Pollard. Now here's Portis. To the wing, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Miller. Let's a three fly. Rebounded by Chris Paul. Wood, a screen on Holiday. Paul for three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But it will go to the line with a chance for three. His first personal foul. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean... Make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. Chris Paul taking three shots. Yeah. 
Risa. Risa. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Thompson, he's checked in for Tice. And he can't hit the second. And he nails the third. Milwaukee is gone. Only one of four from three-point land. Holiday against Paul. To the left wing. Pass to Portis. Count it. One for one to start the game. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Gordon down low. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Holiday. Portis with it. Defended by Thompson. And he slams it in one-handed. The VA, when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Pollard, defended by Thompson. Scott Shot is Pollard. good. Pollard. And the Bucks lead by two. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Paul against Holiday. And it's Paul off the drive. And the shot goes down. Paul's got 10 points in the game. You know, for a player that's a bit undersized, he's still compactly built. Chris Paul driving the lane, knows how to angle his body, change his release point. Whatever he has to do, he'll do it in order to get his shot off. Here's Miller. Three-pointer, no good. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Holiday against Paul. Back to Gordon. Pass to Wood. Now Gordon. The three ball. It's not going to go for him. Outside Holiday. Down low. Here's Portis. And he lays it up and in. Portis has gotten his second bucket of the game. And, you know, this is Drew Holiday's role. He's out there to run the offense and get his guys going. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Bucks ahead. They lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Man. And one of the key backups for the Bucks, Pat Connaughton, talked up the depth of their team. I've been saying it for a long time. You know, we have much more depth than I think people realize. You know, I honestly think through the roster 1 to 15, you have guys that, you know, would be rotation players on any other team. That confidence, something you need from the reserves. Yeah, B.A., whether it's injury, foul trouble, what have you, those guys are ready to step forward when called upon. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. They've got Eric Gordon. Daniel Tice is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's DeLon Wright, and it's Bamba in at the five spot. That's the five for Houston right now. Now here's Holiday. He's coming off a 10-point game against Cleveland. No good off the front rim. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better. 
trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment out. Interesting. Thank you. Hey, one of the strongest part of Tucker's game is knocking down that three-point shot. He doesn't need much space to get it off. Who wants a T-shirt? Making a switch here. Lopez has checked in. And the three-point contest is one of the highlights of All-Star Weekend. Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event. And perhaps that list changes a little between now and All-Star Weekend. But I would have no problems if those guys end up competing. And you look at Tucker. He's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And this year's contest is really shaping up to be one to remember. Plenty of dead-eye shooters on that list so far. And lots of guys have a three-point shot now. But this list is really the cream of the crop when it comes to putting up long-range bombs. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought 100 pairs of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around 5,000 pairs overall. Even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. Here's McGrady. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Gordon can't hit. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Now here's Lopez. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Portis has got his third bucket of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And Tucker gets it to go. shot Tucker has in his bag. The defense has to know that. Holiday passes to Portis. Over Tice. No good off the back of the rim. Houston in the lead. Pass to Gordon. Here's McGrady. From deep. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think you got it right. The defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. It wasn't set. Middleton has checked in for Connaughton. Pass to Middleton. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. The Rockets have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Here's McGrady. And here is Bamba. Let's go with a three. Hits a three-pointer. Bamba's got five now. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Middleton outside. Jacks up a three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. Timeout called the Rockets. Tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were, too. Yeah, and, you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. Now here's Paul. He's got 10. And there's the drive. Making his mark again. He's shooting four for nine in this one. Chris Paul's got a real knack for absorbing contact, finding that defender's body, and still not letting that affect him or distract him from getting his shot up and finishing. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Here's McGrady. On to Kumpo covering. Outside Tucker. Pass to Paul. 
from deep three-point range. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for him. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. To the left side wing. Horford finds Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Pass to McGrady. The three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Last time they met in Milwaukee. Yeah, they left it all on the court in that game. It was obvious what the overtime win meant to them after the buzzer sounded. Well, you could see that the emotions were just raw after that one. You could expect it. I mean, when you give of yourself that much and come out on top, that's a great feeling. Back to Paul. Pass to Malone. Shoots over Lopez. Falls back and drains a fadeaway day. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. Horford outside. Middleton with it. Over Tucker. And it's Middleton. Middleton. That time on the assist by Assisted Horford. By Middleton's got five Kyle points Horford. now in the quarter. For Houston, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 Rockets. attempts here in the second. Timeout. The loudest and craziest fans get a free. Houston making some changes. Christian Wood comes in for Bamba. And Kuzma subbed in for Tucker. Your Club City Tempers. Ball against Middleton. Ball into the lane. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Paul. He's perfect from the line this time. Milwaukee with the ball. Pass to Terry. The ball's knocked loose. Now here's Lopez. Middleton with it. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Clock at six. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Here's McGrady. From eight feet, Malone. Doesn't go for him. Horford with some nice D. Milwaukee has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Terry. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from Jason distance. Terry. Nine points in the game. Improving as a playmaker, Giannis knows this is the next step in him becoming an even greater player. Here's Paul. Here's McGrady. Here's Terry. Nine points in the game. To the inside. Fader on the way. He gets it in there. And it's a six-point Bucks lead. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Here's McGrady. Here's Malone. In close, he hits it. Boy, the hard worker that Malone is makes you appreciate it. Especially close to the rim. He's a strong guy. He usually overpowers defenders inside. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. 
And now it's time to look at the players in this rookie class who are shooting the ball the best so far this season. Second is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Thus far, he's been smart offensively, taking only the good looks, and is showing up in his field goal percentage as well. Yeah, you know, it comes down to efficiency for me. I mean, most young guys get excited, want to prove themselves. So, But he just calmly goes about his business and really does that at a high level. Very impressed by him. Here's McGrady. Launches a three. Rebound by Middleton. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Portis outside. There's a screen. The three is up. Doesn't go that time. And Houston will come the other way. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Horford against Kuzma. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Malone. Misses the three. Used the pump fake well, but he couldn't capitalize. Kuzma against Horford. Honor to Kumpo up top. Fades back. And it falls. Four for eight for him from the floor. You know, knocking down mid-range jumpers is huge for Ante DeCumpo. It doesn't allow the defense to form a wall and play off of it. And it opens up driving lanes as well. Here's Malone. Six points for him. Yep, that one goes. Give him eight. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's paying off. Horford outside. Anadokounmpo, right side. Oh, and the Kumpo. jam by Anadokounmpo. Giannis oh, powering sure. his way on the jam there. Well done. Pass to Paul. Here's Malone. On the wing, Kuzma. Inside. Now Paul. The three from Wood. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Milwaukee has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Out to the right wing. Pass to Middleton. Three on three. Here's Wood. And Wood with the stuff. Pass first mindset of Paul. When you leave somebody open on this squad, he's going to make you pay for it. Middleton outside. Here's Anadokounmpo, defended by Kuzma. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Rockets with a rebound. Here's McGrady. And Wood with the stuff. You know, I think this is where Wood's activity level is through the roof. He is a monster on the glass. Pass to Terry. Anadokounmpo with it. Fades. I like seeing Malone. 